I've known people uh, throughout my life that have battled mental illness and, you know, with my profile, I, I, I like to think that I can help boost and uh, shine some light on um, mental illness with, within everybody, you know. It's, it's something that we don't really talk about and we should be talking about it. When I was just cracking first grade, um, I had a good start to the year and then towards the back end I ended up breaking my leg. And, um, being a 21 year old, um, I was indestructible and the world at my feet and then all of a sudden it was, it was taken away from me because um, of my leg. But, um, you know, the, the worst thing I did was probably, it was probably hide in my house and, and well, I physically couldn't go anywhere but, um, you know, I, I had a good support network around me, my friends and, and my mother as well, she, she flew up to Townsville and, uh, but that was, uh, that was only in the later stage when, I, when, I was, when it was some dark days. One of my close friends up there suggested that I did go talk to someone uh, and then I seek professional help up there and it was, um, that was life changing because I was, I was really struggling, I was on a bit of a, um, on a slippery slope so to say and um, I ended up seeking professional help and that was the best thing that that happened to me at that time in my life because I could um, open up to someone that, that knew what they were talking about and they could help me as well. So um, it, took a, it took a long time. It, it didn't, didn't happen overnight, if I'm honest. It, it took a long time for me to turn around, but like I said, it, it, it helped me rediscover my love for football again and then my passion and, and um, you know, the way I look at it is I get paid to train and play with my best mates every day. and. Um, a lot of people aren't as lucky as me. Everyone's got this perception of footy players being these big, strong, uh, ugly footy players that are too tough for anybody else. But um, you know, deep down, we do have a lot of issues, and and a lot of people do have to, you know, speak and express themselves. Um, and you know, it's it's one of those things where you do need to talk talk to someone and and explain things because you know it, it does help. Body language is, is a massive part of, of mental health, you know. Uh, if a couple of days they're bouncing and bubbly and then, you know, they sort of, you hear about them going through something tough and then they're sort of dragging their feet, that's a clear sign. But, you know, there's all sorts of all sorts of things that you can pick up off, off people and, and the ones that you love. Uh, look, there's, there's lots of outlets that do help, um, help you assess things like this and, and can help you lead towards... Um, finding out about mental illness and a lot of sites, a lot of, lot of help out there. It's very sad you turn on the news and, and you, you find out that a young player's lost his targets. life or well, he thinks that's the only way, he or she, sorry, thinks it's the, it's the last resort and the only way out. Think about your family, think about everything that is positive in your life because there's so much, you woke up that morning, so that's a win already. So, you know, a lot of people don't, don't, aren't as lucky, aren't as mobile, aren't, you know, aren't as financially stable as some people. So. You know, the first thing is that you just got to ask, ask, seek help, seek uh, whether it's in you know outside of life, of football life, might be a principal, might be it's teacher, your best friend, um, your family members, anybody. Just the first step is the hardest one, and that's just to ask for help. It's not Harry just men. It's not. It's not today. just women. It's it it's children as well. Harry's. School kids. Um, a lot of it from school kids comes from bullying because they think. You know, schools, it, schools, their whole world at that time, and it is. But uh, you know, there's there's sunshine at the end of there, and um, you know, we might be doing it a bit tough at the moment. But as long as you surround yourself with good people and block out the negative energy, you'll be right. Positive Mention vibes. It's it's uh, it you know, it might sound a bit hippie, but it's it's it really does work. You know, um, if you're in a good frame of mind, you, you're feeling really good, and everyone's sort of bouncing and cruising around, and you're getting that really good vibe around. But um, you know, it only takes one person to sort of change the whole sort of mood in, in your in your life at that time. And because you're at a bit of a fragile state of mind at the time, it's easy to fall either way. So, yeah, I was, I was very, very positive vibes.